What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. For today's recipe, we are making literally my favorite post-workout meal of all time. If you ever get the chance to cook for me and you're like, what should I cook for Kev? You know, wifey, if you're out there, you're like, what should I cook to get this man? I'm gonna tell you right now, this meal right here, I'm actually a pretty simple guy. It's gonna be steak and potatoes, but instead of steak, we're gonna make some chili and instead of a regular potato, I actually want sweet potato because I love sweet potato. All right, so let me back up and give some context to this video. About a week ago, I received a package in the mail, unexpected, from a buddy of mine. His name is Paul Rabel. If you don't know who Paul Rabel is, he is one of the most dominant lacrosse players in the country. But he sent me this package and it said this on here. Premier Lacrosse League. So basically, he is helping to set up lacrosse as the next NFL or like NBA so we can actually watch it. And I don't know anything about lacrosse. Um, I've never even watched a full game, but I'm excited to go ahead and try this out just because as a fitness enthusiast, I am always inspired and amazed by how people are pushing their bodies and making a sport out of it. And I went to the website after he sent me this package just to go and check it out. And I had no idea. I was like, there's a couple black people on there too. I was like, all right, we are in the lacrosse league too. I was like, okay, okay. So <laughs> I'm excited to go and watch it. But that got me thinking about athletes. And I get a lot of questions and they also ask me things like, Kev, what are the things that I should be eating or could be eating to give myself some adequate fuel? And so it kind of brought me back to some of my early days in cooking for Fit Man Cook and how I was doing that. And one of my go-to staple recipes was chili and sweet potato. And I'll tell you the reason why. Um, chili, it's very lean, it's really easy, it's really hard to mess up. So even if you don't have a lot of skills in the kitchen, it's really hard to put some ground meat and some onion and some bell pepper in a skillet along with some chili seasoning and mess it up. So that dish gave me a lot of confidence early on when learning how to cook. And then sweet potato, is a nod to my southern heritage because I just love it so much. And the cool thing about sweet potato is that it is a complex carbohydrate. So it gives you lasting energy. It's not just gonna completely turn to sugar after you eat it. It's not gonna spike your sugar, but it's gonna, it's, it's gonna stay with you a lot longer and it's going to nourish your body. And I've always felt good after eating a sweet potato. So today I thought, you know what, why don't we go and revisit that recipe for all of my athletes and aspiring athletes out there or people like me who are some fitness enthusiasts and sweat a whole bunch even if you just bend over to tie your shoe you got a big sweat mark here just because your body is always a fat burning machine but to add a small twist to this today i thought what we would do is we would prepare this meal in three different ways giving you three different sides so one is going to be the sweet potato Number two, we're gonna use a plantain. And three, we're gonna keep it low carb by using cauliflower. All right, guys, if you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty, then let's get started. All right. <laughs> All right, so a bear walks into a bar, tells the bartender, you know what? Give me a whiskey and um, a cola. The bartender says, yo, man, so why the long pause? The bear shrugs and says, I don't know, I was kind of born with them. <laughs> so dumb. Dumb, that was not dumb. That was so fun. You didn't think, you didn't laugh at that? You don't think it's funny? First thing we're gonna do is fire up our skillet, set it on medium heat, add in a little bit of oil. This is some avocado oil. And if you don't have avocado oil, just use some olive oil. Toss in some garlic, some onion, and some bell pepper. Start cooking this up. Get it super fragrant in your house, in your dorm, in your apartment, wherever you are. Get it smelling real good. And you'll know it's ready when you see the color on the onion begin to change. Just like that. Make some room in the skillet, and then add in your choice of protein. I'm gonna be using some lean ground bison. Chop it up as it cooks. Now let's add our personality. Keep it really simple. I'm gonna sprinkle in some chili powder, some smoked paprika, some dry thyme, and my special ingredient, just a little bit of cinnamon. Give this a good stir. 
fold everything together. And if you have your favorite chili powder, seasoning or rub, you can use that too. Just be careful of the sodium. Whenever you can make things yourself, you know exactly what you're putting into it. Add in a pinch of sea salt and some pepper. Now, we're gonna pour in some beef broth or some beef stock. If you have some beef bone broth, that is fine too. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of tomato paste. This is what we're gonna use to help to thicken it up just a little bit, is some tomato paste. Now, tomato paste is a little bit different from tomato sauce. Um, it's got the thickness of ketchup, but just not the sweetness of ketchup. So if you can't find tomato paste where you are, then just use a little bit of tomato sauce. Bring this to a light simmer, and now we're gonna let everything meld together. We're gonna let all the flavors come together. Cover and cook for at least 20 minutes. If you're not too impatient, 30 to 40 minutes would be even better. Just make sure it's on a low heat and it's not burning. Okay, so while the chili is cooking, we are going to prep the side. So, if you're like me, then you will love a sweet potato. So we're gonna take a raw sweet potato, we're gonna poke a few holes in it, grab some foil, wrap it up really nice and tight, and then bake this in the oven for about 30, 40 minutes at 400. If you're also like me, then you equally love some platano, some plantain. So what we're gonna do here is first off, you gotta get yourself a white plantain. Make sure it's really nice yellow and black. It's gotta be yellow and black. If there's some green in it, it's not the right kind for this particular recipe. So I'm gonna get it, chop the ends off, and then we're just going to make a very small slice right here down the middle. We're not gonna go all the way through, so don't use your strong hand. And then we'll do the exact same thing. We're gonna wrap this up in some foil. Bake this one in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes at 400. And if you are a low carb or keto athlete, then I want you to grab a steamable bag of cauliflower, put it in the microwave, cook it up according to the directions so it's really nice and tender. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of personality. We're gonna keep this really, really simple. Add in some dried thyme, some dried chives, and to make it creamier, just add in a little bit of Greek yogurt. And this is the optional ingredient, some Parmesan. Pinch of pepper, and a little pinch of salt as well. Now, technically, you can actually use a fork and just mash everything together, but to get that wonderful, creamy, potato-like texture that we all love, use a hand mixer. This is the thing that I've used and it always yields the best results. Season to taste with a little bit of sea salt and pepper, but set this aside and it's ready for your chili. And of course, if you're not a fan of cauliflower mash, just use some cauliflower rice. All right, and after about 30 minutes, woof, smells amazing. Just give it a nice stir. And as it cools, it's going to thicken up some too. So take this off the heat. And of course, make it rain a little cilantro. Season to taste with some sea salt and some freshly cracked pepper. And boost the heat if you want to with some jalapeno. All right, now let's bring everything together. So first up, maybe you are team sweet potato. Slice open freshly baked sweet potato flake out the flesh with a fork just a little bit, almost like an exploding sweet potato. This is literally one of my favorite meals of all time. Add in a serving of the chili. Woo, right there, smack dab in the middle. A Little bit of heat if desired. Or if you want a freshly baked plantain, and you could do half of a plantain or you could do the full one because they are delicious and carb-tastic. Or maybe you are team low-carb or team keto. So we're gonna start off with some cauliflower mash, add in our chili. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> And no worries, fam, if you are a part of the low carb club, but you gotta have just a few more calories, just add in some avocado. Very simple. And of course, I gotta do one final taste. Mm. The thing that I crave the most after sweating and being so tired is energy. I crave some sugar. And just this little hint of cinnamon 
does the trick and it does not compete at all with the savory spiciness of classic chili. You'll love it. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. This is literally my favorite post-workout meal. And if you are an aspiring athlete, if you're a pro athlete, or if you're someone who just burns a whole lot of calories and you're trying to figure out what is a good thing for me to come home to after sweating and working hard, this meal is seriously, it will never let you down. So whether you are team plantain, whether you are team low carb with some cauliflower, or you are team sweet potato like me, you could even be team grain and use things like brown rice, jasmine rice, quinoa, farro, whatever it is, just make this chili and I guarantee you will love it. Remember, keep the protein very lean and also keep your carbs complex. You want something that's going to um, fill you up and also give you lasting energy even if you're about to go to bed, even if it's bedtime, you want something that's going to feed your body and replenish your body over time. All right guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you like stuff like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here. And again, huge shout out to my buddy, Paul Rabel. Congratulations on all your success with the lacrosse network. And I just cannot wait to be watching lacrosse games on actual TV. That's gonna be dope. All right, guys, until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Ooh! Bye, guys.